Hey, hey, kids, everyone and their dog will tell you that playing with others while having the protection is the best way to have a good time. So before you go on, please get off your tiny butt, drop your pants and apply the protective gear. But yeah, I highly recommend strapping a saucepan to your butt or apply Vaseline, cause I bet someone will get butt hurt during the next few minutes. So for today's equine to beat, I have brought the husky old stallion that everyone loves to ride. Oddly, ladies love him the most. His name? Shining Armor. I mean, shielding. And just like Negan, I'm about to beat him to death. So what's wrong with shields? Quite frankly, nothing. Now, engineering, on the other hand, is yet again the culprit of today's beating. Shields are simply too strong, and that is today's notion. Those of you in PvP circles know this quite well, but engineered shields are unholy in Jesus vasectomy on the satanic altar levels of demonic. See, let's say we have a ship with 100 HP shield. Okay, and you can equip about 2 to 4 boosters usually on most ships, each giving you 20% of the base shield strength. So, it four boosters, a ship will get about 180 shields, almost doubling the strength of these shields due to these devices, and that's absolutely fine. See, in context of this sci-fi universe, I like to think that shield boosters are helper devices that allow ship shielding to be sustained more effectively. Think of it as a Wi-Fi repeater. Ah, shit! No, uh, no, don't think of a repeater, that's a bad thing, but... Okay, fine. It, the principle is the same. Boosters just help shield be sustained from multiple points rather than one, making it more stable. Now, from that, increasing the amount of shielding would be understandable. So, for example, Cutter, whose base shields are almost 1000, having 8 boosters will bump it up to 2.4 thousand. And you know what? That's also fine too. What is not fine and makes shielding OP is the fact that with engineering you can boost the ship's shielding to some insane levels. No, seriously, with maximum upgrades from grade 5 heavy duty boosters, Cutter gets not 4000, not 5000, not 6000, nor 7000. You get 8000 shields. Tell me, this is not insane. Plus with prismatics you can almost reach 10000 shield HP. It's just mental. For PvE, it sounds great. Just wank and tank. After all, this is the main reason I named my Cutter like that. But when it comes to PvP, going through that much shielding, not to mention shield cells, is nigh impossible. And even worse if you have a pocket medic with healies. In those instances, you can just open up your cargo hatch and throw out all of your ammo, as well as your power distributor, as they'll be as useful as your morning shits. Now tell me, what kind of fun can you have in a fight where neither side actually accomplishes anything? It's more like a massive baby slap fight rather than a battle for life and death. See, the big issue does not stem from the shield generator itself. The shield boosters are to be blamed here. Or, to be precise, the brain-dead ideas of the person who was in charge of balancing engineering, i.e. NO ONE. See, shield boosters, once engineered, can go as high as plus 60%. Now, that's pretty neat and doesn't sound much. But the fact here is, that's an improvement of 300% from the base level. See, I look at engineering as tweaking a device, so it's more geared towards a specific task, say overclocking a CPU or installing a better ECU in your car. They won't make you go twice as fast, but there will be noticeable differences. Basically, tweaking should not produce such a massive improvement in the first place, yet shield boosters do. And say what you will, but when it comes to hull tanks, aka ships with Viagra for blood, they are hard as hell, yes, but at the same time vulnerable to module damage. Shields, on the other hand, are absorbing all the damage, so there is virtually no risk when you have them. This is why I like to use shield tanks myself, but if they protect you more, from common sense perspective on balancing, they shouldn't be more superior to someone choosing to go with a hull tank, right? Well, not in Elite. Just bring some sauce to Didi so she can drink herself to death and vomit out those condoms. Just make sure to hold her head. Oh wait. Well, okay then. I love my Vang tank, but honestly, I don't think that having a regenerative armor that absorbs everything should be better than the good old morning wood. This is a huge issue, and while it kills me to say this, it needs nerfing. And surprise, surprise, devs actually tried and attempted this in the past, but failed. But now ask yourselves, who were the dipshits who put this in the game in the first place? Answer, devs themselves. Why? Well, obviously because no one cared to balance this. Or at the very least, stop using laundry detergent instead of morning coffee. Now we are left with a choice. Either A, we suck it up and ask 
devs to nerf boosters to fair levels and promise not to be a bunch of whining bitches about it. Or B, we do nothing, devs do nothing and the status quo remains. Or perhaps option C, we do nothing and devs just pump out new weapons and tools specifically made to deal with shielding and this pollutes already extensive, unbalanced weapon arsenal with even more garbage. Well, guess what, the option C is already here. Such things as flashette launcher basically ignore ship shielding and goes for modules, but really what this weapon is, is a joke that has been created in spite of enormous problem that is ship shielding. Now, I can't exactly put my finger on this, but devs either are A, too scared to deal with the backlash of nerfing shielding, or B, too complacent to deal with the problem directly. See, I love my shields, but in the name of fair, varied and interesting gameplay, I'm willing to make sacrifices. Are you? Oh, and don't you dare whining about reverb torps or mine lest you want me to come and shove them up your ass. But anyways, I know you probably have something to say, so please do down below. And of course, share this around. Hehehehe <laughs> 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 <laughs>